This is Devin Arms, and you're viewing a tutorial on how to import scores into your Skyward Gradebook. There are actually two separate ways you can go about importing scores into your gradebook, and I'll cover each of those separately. Regardless of which way you choose, the first step is the same. You will need to add an assignment into your gradebook, just like you would do if it were a regular assignment. I'm going to come up to Assignments, and click Add Assignment. I'm going to title this assignment Import Scores 1. And I'm going to go ahead and leave everything else as is. I'm going to click Save and Back because I want to go back into my gradebook. I'm not going to score this assignment manually. Now I see the assignment in my gradebook ready for scores to be imported. The next step is I'm going to come back up to Assignments and you're going to see two new options here. One is to import assignment scores. The second option is to advanced export or import assignments. We're going to start with this second option, the advanced export import assignments. Let's go ahead and click that. Now you're going to see any assignment here that you have not yet graded. Okay? If you did want to see graded assignments, you could highlight that and you would also see the graded assignments but since they've already been graded there's really no need to so I'm going to find my assignment I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna come over here and create a file for score entry now Skyward is going to save this file onto my computer and I'm going to allow it to do that so I'll click Save I'm then going to open the file now you're going to see an Excel spreadsheet. You cannot change the format of this spreadsheet in any manner. However, you can enter scores, special comments, whether or not you want to add a no count designation, a missing assignment designation, and you can also add comments. I'm going to go ahead and say that all of my students received a 95 on this assignment. So I'm going to copy and paste. And for Aiden, I will give him a zero, and I'm going to count that as a no count because he was absent. And Nancy, I'm going to give a zero, and she did not turn the assignment in, so for her it will be missing. Now that I've finished entering the grades onto the spreadsheet, and again, you could copy and paste these scores from, from another spreadsheet um, very easily. I'm going to come up to File, Save As, and I'm going to resave the document now that I've made changes. Very important, you want to make sure that it's a CSV file. That's the only type of file that Skyward will recognize. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. It's going to tell me that this file already exists, and it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I do want to replace it because I want the, the newer version with the scores. So I'll click Yes and I'll click yes again. Now I'm going to close this file. I've already saved it so I'm just going to click don't save. And now I'm back to the screen where I can import that file. So I'll come down to select a CSV file to import from. I'm going to select browse. I'm going to find the file, LA0522, click open, and then I'm going to import those scores. Here I can see all of my students, their scores, and any special designations that I noted on the spreadsheet. I'll click back, back again. Now I'm back in my gradebook and I have my assignment with the scores that I've imported. The second way to import scores into your Skyward gradebook has a couple more steps involved. Much like the first way, we will add an assignment. I'm going to title this Import Scores 
2. And I'm going to click Save and Back. Now, in order to import scores in this second way, you have to have a spreadsheet that has your students' ID numbers, their last name, and their first name in three separate columns. Now, if you don't have that information, it can easily be exported from Skyward. And that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to come up to Reports, and I'm going to come down to my Class Roster Report. I'm going to use one of the templates that's already been created that has the student's name, their ID number, and then also their phone number and their advisor. And I'm going to export this to Excel because I want it in a spreadsheet. So I'll click Export to Excel. And once the process is finished, I'll open the report. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. I do. And now I'm going to open up the spreadsheet. So now you see I have my students' names, their ID numbers, and also some other information that I don't really need for this import process. First, I'm going to clean up my spreadsheet just a little bit. I'm going to delete all the unnecessary fields after I enable editing. So now I have my students' names and their student ID number. There's one more step that I must complete. As you can see right now, the students' names, last name, first name, middle initial, they're all in one column. They have to be in two separate columns. So I need last name, first name, middle initial, then their student ID number. Now there's a, there's a tool in Excel that can make this happen pretty easily. First thing I'm going to do is add a column to give myself some room. I'm going to highlight the column with the students' names. And I'm going to come up and click Data. And I'm going to select the option to turn the text to columns. I'm going to leave the delimited option selected. And I'm going to click Next. And now it wants to know how do I want to separate this information. Well, I know that I have a comma in between the last name and the first name middle initial. So I'm going to use the comma as my delimiter. So I'm going to unselect tab. I'm going to select comma. And it will preview how it's going to separate that information. And that's just what I want. Now I'll click Next and then Finish and I now have the information just the way I need it. Last name, first name, middle initial. Now you may decide that you want to just save this spreadsheet as a template so that if you're importing multiple assignments time after time you can just open up this spreadsheet. So you may want to save this as kind of like your master file um, with your students names and, and other student ID numbers. So if that were the case I would save this and say you know my student import info. However, I don't want to save this quite yet because I'm going to go ahead and enter some scores. So let's say that this was an assignment and I, some of my students did better than others and the rest got 60s. So now I have last name, first name, student ID number, and the score. I'm going to come up and click File, Save As, and this is going to be my import. Now, as I mentioned before, it has to be in a CSV format. I'm going to select the drop down, I'm going to find CSV, and I'm going to click Save. Now I'm back into Skyward, and I'm in my gradebook. Now I'll come up to Assignments and Import Assignment Scores. 
I'm going to see that I only have one assignment that I could possibly score. I'm going to select this. I'm going to browse to find my file. I found my import file. Open import scores. It's going to show me that I have my students' names, their student ID numbers, and the score that they received. I would like to use the imported scores, so I'll select that option. Now I have the opportunity to add any comments or make any modifications to the scores if needed. I'll click Save. And then I'll click back to go to back to my gradebook. And now I have my second assignment with imported scores. So the second method for importing scores, it requires a few extra steps the first time to get that spreadsheet set up with the student ID numbers and names. But once you have that file set up, it should be fairly easy just to copy and paste scores from, from another spreadsheet onto that spreadsheet and then load it into the program. So now I have two assignments that I have imported scores for um, from another software program. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at armsd at centergrove.k12.in.us. Thank you.